Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. Today I have prepared two true-false questions for you. And here is the first question. The condition XXXY is always lethal in humans. So you have to choose between if it is true or false statement. And uh, whenever uh, we have extra X chromosome, uh, we call such uh, condition Klinefelter syndrome. And normal genotype of male would be XY. So this is normal. And uh, Klinefelter syndrome would be any condition when uh, male would have extra X chromosome. Uh, this can be, for example, XXY. It also can be XXXY. It also can be X, X, Y, Y, and even it can be X, 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 and Y. Uh, you probably know that uh, even trisonomy would uh, cause severe genetic disorders in humans. For example, trisonomy of the chromosome 21 leads to Down syndrome. But uh, this is a different uh, case with uh, sex chromosomes because Y chromosome is one of the smallest uh, chromosomes and uh, it is uh, relatively easily tolerated by organism to have one extra Y chromosome and X chromosome. Whenever we have more than one X chromosome, uh, another one would be inactivated would form bar body. So in uh, males with Klinefelter syndrome, one of the chromosomes would be inactivated. Just like in females, in uh, females cells, we would see one bar body and we call this uh, dosage compensation uh, because males only have one X chromosome and uh, in order for females also to keep this balance, one X chromosome would form bar body and would be inactivated. So um, that means that males and females actually have the same number of active X chromosomes. So uh, in males whose genotype would be uh, as follows, uh, one extra X chromosome would form bar body. So that's why such uh, uh, genotypes can be tolerated, because uh, all extra X chromosomes would just form bar body. For example, here would be three bar bodies in each cell. Here would be one bar body, and here two, and here would have one bar body. And normal male's uh, genotype doesn't have any bar bodies at all. So now you can answer the question. And as you see, uh, this uh, genotype is not lethal in humans. So the correct answer would be answer B. Next question. The condition of having no X chromosomes, for example, YO or Y0 is lethal in humans. Once again, um, let's consider genotype of the male, and this is XY, and female would be XX, and one would form bar body. So, so females would have one active X chromosome in each uh, somatic cell, uh, as long as each male also would have one active X chromosome. Now let me draw uh, these genotypes as um, they actually look like. So here is uh, X chromosome and here is a Y chromosome. Here is a one X chromosome and another deactivated X chromosome. So as you see, uh, one of the chromosomes are pretty large. This is uh, X chromosome and uh, Y chromosome is pretty small. 
females doesn't have Y chromosome and uh, can manage pretty good without this chromosome. But uh, neither males or females can uh, exist without X chromosome because this chromosome has about 2000 genes. And if we miss 2000 genes, that this means that uh, we wouldn't be able to produce thousands of uh, proteins. Y chromosome has only about 200 genes and those it is uh, partly homologous to uh, X chromosome, uh, still Y chromosome is missing over 95% uh, of the genes present on the X chromosome and uh, life is not possible in humans uh, without uh, this chromosome. So uh, our answer for this uh, question would be A. This is true statement without uh, X chromosome, with only Y chromosome. Life is not possible in humans and absence of X chromosome would be lethal condition. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.